Okay, hello guys. Um, I wasn't really planning on making a video this week because honestly, I've been feeling kind of stuck. So like a couple of weeks ago, that's when I posted my video where I was like talking about how I'm starting a spiritual journey and how I wanted to kind of like have you guys join me on this and tell you guys how it's been and how I'm doing. And right now I'm kind of at a little buck, not gonna lie. I kind of found myself in that cycle that I was talking about where I would try to start new habits or like try to start a new routine and it just would end up like not helping me. Like I was talking about in that video how I started working out every day and stuff and that did not work so I had to stop that and that's that's probably the main reason why I started my spiritual journey just to kind of like cleanse my mind instead of like work on my body. And then I found myself wanting to do that again which was not good on my part, I should have blocked those thoughts. But I just told myself like hey I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna run a mile, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this. And it just ended up backfiring like hella. Like I got up, I went on a walk. I felt good because I got some sunshine and some fresh air, so that was a plus. And then when I got back inside the house, I did my workout and I just felt so just kind of dull after because I did my schoolwork and I told myself that I was gonna be productive for the rest of the day. And I ended up like not being productive at all. Ew, my hair is being fugly. Um, just ignore this. I told myself like, hey, I'm gonna like come up with some video ideas and I'm gonna plan and I'm gonna do this and do that. And nothing came out of it. Like I just ended up sitting at my laptop for like five hours doing nothing, just watching YouTube videos. And I felt so unproductive and I was kind of hard on myself because of it. I just keep finding myself starting this cycle of wanting to better myself. And in reality, it never ends up working out the way I want it to because I'm not bettering myself. And I think I'm starting to realize that starting these cycles and new routines is just not what I'm supposed to be doing because it doesn't end up helping me at all. It just makes me f feel worse than I did before starting them. I was just thinking about that a lot, how I keep starting these new routines and then going back to square one. And it's just, I never end up feeling content. And that's something I've been trying to work on, especially with my manifestation. I've been trying to like manifest being content and happy with things the way they are. Because there's no way you're ever gonna like better yourself until you're content in the now with what you have now. So that's what I'm really trying to work on. And I think just telling myself that and looking in the mirror and being like, hey, you are fine the way you are. You don't need to like try to keep on changing you don't need to do that, it's useless. You're just gonna end up feeling exhausted at the end of the day because that's not who you are. Who you are is who you are now. Focus on that person until you try to find like a new version of yourself. That's one of the big revelations I had the other day. And then another one I wanted to talk about to you guys is how I've been feeling being a senior in a pandemic and how it's really affected how things have been. You know, I bet a lot of you guys can relate to this when I say it's been lonely. It, it, it's been lonely. That's normal because a lot of you guys are going through the same thing. So we're all going through this like period where we're just kind of just like stuck inside with our thoughts and really just thinking out loud and not being able to be around people. And this had me thinking a lot about how I was in high school compared to now. You know, I'm, I'm a senior right now. I'm graduating in a couple months. So I still am in high school, but pre-corona how I was and how life was back then and I started to think a lot about how little things have really changed for me back to like junior year I was probably doing the same stuff that I'm doing now except I I can definitely say that I am a better person than I was then and this pandemic has really made me open my eyes and just start to have a different perspective about everything you know spirituality in that sense I am different than I was back then but still when I was a junior, I wasn't really hanging out with people and I wasn't really doing stuff that people in high school do. And there's a reason behind that. Doing my manifestation journal and working on my spirituality, I've been able to understand like why I've been in this cycle and what, what it all comes down to. And truth be told, it all comes down to me being scared to be friends with people. And that really goes back to like freshman and sophomore year because I was in a lot of bad friendships 
Because, you know, when you start high school, you're just like, hey, I'm going to be this person. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to talk to these people. And you, sometimes you end up being a person that you're not. You know, you end up putting on this fake version of yourself out into the world. And that's what I did. And I attracted a lot of bad people because, you know, they would see my kindness and they would see my funniness and they would mistake it as a weakness because they would be like, he's just the person we go to when we need help or he's just the comic relief and that's how I felt for a long time so that ended up making me be in a lot of bad relationships with people so that kind of did affect the future friendships I was in because I would always think like okay I need to take a step back because I never know if I'm being used or I don't know how much I should tell this person you know I had a lot of trust issues so junior year yeah, it was pretty much the same situation as now, like not seeing people, being alone all the time. And that was from fear because I was scared that I was going to be in those same toxic relationships again. Like I was scared the cycle was going to repeat again. So that's why I would take a step back and like distance myself from people. And I still, I'm working on it. It's going to take a long time to truly work things out with myself and friendships and relationships. But it's just affected me so much, so I'm really trying to like deprogram my brain and say hey, there are such thing as like positive, healthy friendships and you need to stop being like scared. There's people that I text and there are people that I consider like good friends, but I just never want to take the extra step to like be the, be a friend, like be a good friend. And that's just, that is on me because that's my fault for not reaching out to someone or not wanting to not wanting to commit to a friendship. I think that's what my main issue is, not wanting to commit to anything. Because if you commit to something, you have to keep going back to it and keep giving them energy. And in the past when I would give people my energy, I would feel like they're not giving, they're not reciprocating it. They're not giving me energy back. So that's something I'm going to have to work on. I'm probably gonna start shadow work soon if you guys know what that is it's basically like some people use journals where there's like questions and prompts for you to like fill out issues you may have had with yourself in the past and really working through it on paper so I might be starting that soon so I can kind of work on deprogramming myself cuz y'all this spiritual journey I started I didn't know it was gonna unpack so much shit I was I was not expecting this because so many things ended up like coming out like in my dreams I would have dreams that were very specific and they were like telling me things it was like my subconscious telling me that you need to work on this if you want to like better yourself I guess I just wanted to like come on camera and tell you guys that that's what my next step is going to be just work on deprogramming my fears and really getting to the root of what I want to fix you know there's things that need to be fixed and I do want to be a better friend to people I want to have healthy relationships but I'm just scared to commit I'm, that's that's just what it comes down to I'm scared to commit I'm probably not gonna post any more videos until I finally feel like I'm in the right headspace to because right now I've just kind of been a little just like dull and not wanting to do much and that's okay you you have to tell yourself that being bored or not wanting to do anything is okay because sometimes in those moments you can do the most self healing. That's going to be it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I just had to get that off my chest because I wanted to kind of like be honest with you guys and document everything that I'm going through in my journey. I just want to share it with you guys because maybe you guys can relate to some of the things I said and we could help each other out. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in a couple weeks maybe. Whenever I feel like making videos, I'll post them. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching.